Okay, I've got a couple of experiments to show you today. Now, they're all involving Slayer Exciters to some extent. Now, this is the first one. I've got the uh, pop bottle coil set up here, and I've got a little neon uh, burning away on the side there. Now, when I first made uh, this coil here, the, uh, the idea was to actually uh, fill it with water and see if it can increase the output of the exciter, because Lidmos have found that basically water can be excited, and uh, I wanted to see if I could increase the field. Anyway, I was disappointed because it didn't work, uh, but the other reason was it's easily replicable as well. They're available all over the world. Anyway, I can show you what happens when I do fill it with water. Uh, if we just watch the neon as I pour some water inside. It gradually dims. And then uh, goes out. So it's quite disappointed with that. And... Uh, I revisited it today and basically it's, uh, what I've done is I went to a car boot sale and uh, some chap was selling all this computer ribbon so it's what I did was uh, I bought that and uh, I'll just show you a quick circuit diagram of what I've done and I, I seriesed the end connections if you know what I mean when it was just a long strip so that would be the output so the first layer goes along and then I connect the ends together goes this way connect the ends together, go that way, and so forth, until you've done all the wires like that. And then I'm using a toroid as the uh, L2, uh, because then you don't need to wrap anything around it. It's just a very easy way of uh, using any shape coil, really. And uh, basically, uh, I've wrapped it around the glass. So that's the exciter now. And uh, I'll just show you it working. This is a little AVD uh, plug with uh, an LED on, it's my wireless detector and uh, there's not much of a field but if you touch the output right, you can see it's very bright now I'll just pinch that neon off here because it's the only one I've got And I'll show you a neon in there. Not much activity at all. In fact, virtually zero. In fact, there is zero. Around the outside, nothing. Now, I'll fill this with water. lights and my little AV plug that's nice and bright and that got me to thinking about trying to use a balloon as a top load so I basically filled the balloon full of water and I've got a, yeah, a steel uh, paper clip stretched out and that's basically goes inside. And the idea behind this was uh, to do like a jiffy, jiffy coil type of top load because uh, on the cheap really, basically just a balloon full of water, water bomb style, uh, covered in tin foil uh, with this in here. And there was two reasons why I did this. I'm trying to experiment with salt water capacitors with this because I've got this funny feeling that we can use a salt water capacitor as a top load. And uh, this is my first primitive attempt, uh, but uh, I've not given up on that at all. This is just a quick, horrible thing, really. But it works quite well as a top load. Just found that quite interesting. And if I take the tin foil off it, so I'm left with that. I put my neon on it. So this water is being excited in here, and I can even empty this water out in here. 
just empty that back out. Put my top load back on. And it still lights in the on. But uh, I'm still going to uh, try this salt water capacitor business because I think uh, we could have some good results with that. Anyway, that's the experience today. Thanks for watching.